Today I'm going to show you how to turn a magnifying glass into a focusable lens with just a couple simple steps. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. It's August, summer is coming to an end, but we still have plenty of beautiful warm days to go out and shoot photos and videos. And I thought I'd show you this fun little creative product I've been playing around with for a couple years. And that is turning a magnifying glass into a lens that you can actually use on your mirrorless camera for photos and videos. Now I made a video about this a couple years ago, but one of the issues that the video had is I only showed how to make a fixed focus magnifying glass lens, a lens that focused to about 10 feet and no farther. Well, as I was looking at some of our Photodeox products, I realized recently uh, I could actually use a macro focusing bellows to turn a magnifying glass lens into a focusable lens, a lens you could focus close up and far away. And you can get some pretty interesting creative looks with this lens. Now it is definitely a very, very low-fi look. Everything's blooming, soft, very dreamy and bizarre looking. And you know, obviously that's because uh, it's a magnifying glass. It's really just designed to see things close up. But I love weird lo-fi looks like this, so if you do too, let me show you how I did it. Okay, I started off with this little magnifying glass and all I really did is I cut off the handle. So I'm gonna be adapting this magnifying glass to a Sony A7 body, uh, great for photography and video. And I'm going to be using a Photodeox Canon EF macro bellows. Now this product is designed to go between a Canon EF camera and a Canon EF lens. And then you turn this wheel to actually extend the bellows to focus closer up. It's really just designed for macro photography. Uh, but because this magnifying glass has a fairly long focal flange distance, I'm able to put the magnifying glass on the macro bellows and then use a second Canon EF to Sony E-mount adapter and then adapt it to my Sony a7R and I'm still able to focus to infinity. Okay, super simple build. We're gonna set the magnifying glass lens down on the place where the Canon EF lens would go. And then we're just gonna take some gaff tape. Uh, this is the friend of the DIY photographer. Gaff tape is great uh, because it's strong and sturdy, but it doesn't leave a lot of residue, which is great for me because often when I'm building this type of stuff, I'm doing a lot of experimenting. Okay, we've got our magnifying glass taped to our macro bellows. So we've got the optical element and the focusing element, but now we need some sort of exposure control because this is a super fast lens. Uh, it's a magnifying glass. It doesn't have an aperture. I think it's like an F0 point something or other. It's very, very fast. And for photography, this is fine because I can just bring my ISO down to 100 and then speed up my shutter speed and get decent exposures. But if I'm shooting video uh, and I want to have a usable shutter speed, you know, like a 50th of a second, I'm going to need a lot of exposure control uh, to cut the light coming through so that I get a correct exposure. Now I could introduce some sort of aperture plate back here, but I kind of like the crazy shallow depth of field this lens can bring to video. So I'm going to use our Photodeox ND throttle adapter. This is a lens adapter with a built-in variable ND filter. So as you turn this silver ring built into the adapter, it actually adjusts how much ND filtration the filter is giving you. And this is brilliant for adapting lenses to cameras where you want to open your aperture all the way and get beautiful shallow depth of field video. All you got to do is turn the variable ND ring to cut the light coming through so you get a good exposure. And this is essential for adapting magnifying glasses because this is a very fast lens. So we're just going to mount the ND throttle to the macro bellows, and then we're going to mount the ND throttle to our Sony E-mount camera. There we go. Now we've got the super fast, super shallow, super low-fi magnifying glass lens on our macro bellows so we can adjust the focus. And then for exposure control, we can just crank in the variable ND to cut the light so we get a correct exposure video. Now with this setup, you only need to be about here to focus to infinity. And if you wanna focus closer, you just turn this ring to bring the lens farther out and focus closer. And when you get to about here, you're at macro focus. 
And uh, like I said, this is a very lo-fi look. Here's some of the video that I have shot with this setup. Now the first thing you'll see is the colors are really washed out and muted. And that's because this is a very, very simple lens. There's not much to it. So I found the best thing to do with this footage is just to make it black and white. It looks way better in black and white. And it actually gives you this really, really weird, like almost like silent movie look. It looks like footage shot in the 1800s. And I love this look because yeah, it's super soft, super lo-fi but it's very unique. It's not something that's easy to recreate in post with standard digital video. Uh, and it does really have this kind of unique filmic look, kind of like shooting Super 8 black and white film on a really cheap Super 8 camera with a really cheap lens. So I wouldn't call it filmic, I would maybe call it like trashic, it's got a trashic look, and it's definitely not a look for everyone. Uh, I think this would be great for kind of nightmare dream sequences. I'm actually working on a short horror film that I want to shoot with this setup because it gives that really, really creepy, eerie, dreamy look. Now, if you want to do this setup, but you don't have a Sony E-mount camera, comment below. We've got lots of different ND throttle adapters, lots of different macro bellows. So I'm pretty sure I could help you figure out what you'd need to do this build. Also, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more fun DIY video projects like this one. I'm Sean with Photo Deox, and thanks for watching.